Son of a bitch. 12 fucking minutes. 13 fucking minutes. Not working out. All right. Um, take three. Jeff's goggles. Blue shirt. Couldn't find a black one. Looked everywhere. Can't find a fucking black shirt. But boxers. Okay. Um, quickly, into the questions. Uh, before the questions. Uh, tech. Going commando is fine. Don't really give a shit. Um, you're outside. Do whatever. Um, you had the black shirt. You can't drop your pants and show us your circumcised Jew penis on uh, YouTube. So that's understandable. Um, as for questions, would I rather live in the woods or the city? Uh, if I'm in the same sort of situation right now where I'm like 10 minutes away from all you guys, I would much rather live in the woods. Um, as long as you're out there with me, bonfires, blow shit up, do whatever, have a great time out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Um, I'm talking really fast because this is my third take, um, and I've been like five minutes over each time. And I don't want to cut because I have no real like dead space to cut shit out. Um, so, would much rather live in the woods, as long as I have you guys around. If I'm out in the middle of nowhere on my own, um, and I don't have like gratuitous amounts of free money and high-speed internet, there's no reason to stay out in the middle of nowhere because, like, you guys make life worth, like, being awesome. So I can survive without people as long as you guys are around, but I would not trade you guys for a life free of douchebags. Uh, what do I look for in a woman? Um, since I don't really ever look to be in a relationship, um, mostly just friendship, like a hot girl who I can be friends with. Um, I say hot girl because, uh, really, like, you look for an attractive person to date. That's just what we all do. It's not shallow to say that because that's what we all do. Um, so, but, like, I don't necessarily, like, ever approach a woman, like, saying, hey, I would love to date you. I'm just, like... I'd love to be friends with them, and if something happens down the road and we end up dating it, wouldn't that be fucking cool? But I always just think, like, hey, wouldn't that be cool? I never expect it to actually happen. So it's always a really awesome surprise when I end up actually dating someone. Because um, I'm just like, fuck yeah, jackpot. Um, I was like, I was thinking, hey, wouldn't it be cool if this happened? And you never expect it to come true, so. Yeah, um, what I look for in a woman is uh, someone I can just be friends with. Um, that's really the most important thing anyway. So, yeah. Um, Star Wars, man. Favorite minor character? Uh, well, my favorite Star Wars character is Boba Fett because he is the most badass Star Wars character in the entire universe, either extended or otherwise. Um, pretty much, uh, there's another bounty hunter, Dangar, um, who's pretty awesome as well. Uh, He's far more minor than fat. He never has any lines in uh, the Empire Strikes... He's only in one scene in Empire Strikes Back, and he never says anything. Um, but uh, in the Expanded Universe, he and Han have a really like, long backstory, and it's pretty sweet. So uh, He's a cool guy. Um, also, in the Expanded Universe, there is uh, Kyle Katarn... Early Kyle Katarn is pretty cool. Later Kyle Katarn, not so much. Like, after he becomes a Jedi, um, he start of, sort of loses his awesomeness. Um, back when he's just a commando, um, who's maybe, like, learning the Force a little bit, but, like, just kind of doing his own thing, kind of a bounty hunter, kind of a rebel, kind of whatever, um, he is ridiculously hardcore. Uh, and Mara Jade is another ridiculously awesome character. Um... I don't know. Uh, she also sort of represents the end of the Star Wars saga for me because um, when she marries Luke Skywalker, it like 15 years after the Battle of Endor, or I don't remember if they date from the Battle of Yavin or the Battle of Endor for like beyond the Holy Trinity, but um, it's 15 years into the future. Maybe, maybe it's 25. I, oh shit, I have to really remember this. But uh, it's far into the future. I think it's 25 actually. Um, no, it'd be 15. Uh, they end up, you know, Luke marries her. Um, and that's the end of Star Wars for me. Because after that, um, the books kill off characters and start sucking. And it's not that I don't like the characters dying, it's just like they're kind of shitty. 
because they were just like, well, what sort of thing can we do for a story? I don't know, let's kill Chewbacca. Yeah, so I don't believe that's actually Star Wars anymore. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know. I think that uh, I would have to say my favorite character is Mara Jade um, in the Expanded Universe. Um, she's not really in Star Wars, the movies, so I can't say she's the Star Wars character. Um, God, the pilot you were thinking of... Um, is not Wedge. Uh, Wedge is the flight leader of Rogue Squadron, um, and he did take part in the Battle of Yavin, but he didn't know Luke before the Battle of Yavin. Uh, the pilot you were thinking of is Biggs Darklighter. He was a f he was friends with Luke on Tatooine, and Luke wanted to go to the Imperial Flight Academy with Biggs, but uh, his uncle said, "Fuck you! No, I need you to harvest water." Um, what a douchebag. Uh, so, he didn't go, they meet up again on, uh, Yavin 4, and Biggs is actually killed in the Battle of Yavin. So, he is a pretty cool guy, he had a pretty snazzy stash, but, uh, other than that, um, yeah, uh, I do agree with you, he's a pretty cool character, so is Wedge. Um, but Wedge is actually not, you know, in the expanded universe, there's like ten books based, you know, around him, so there's, uh, an argument to be made that he's not a minor character. Um... There's also an argument to be made that Mara Jade isn't a minor character, but she's also pretty badass to begin with, so whatever. Um, uh, um, yeah, so questions. Uh, thank you, Midge, for realizing that I did actually ask a question in the bottom bar. Uh, there will be no question in the bottom bar this week um, because I'm asking it now. Uh, for those of you who didn't answer my question, what would happen if uh, someone hurt one of us, either emotionally or physically? Answer that question. I would probably just put them in the ground. Um, maybe while they're still alive. Maybe not. It would depend on what exactly happened. But uh, I don't tolerate shit happening to you guys. Um, so, if you didn't answer it, answer that. If you did answer that, or if you didn't, I mean, this, this the next question is for everyone, because that's this week's question. Uh, where do you see yourself when you die? Um... Are you, like, 85 years old, just, you know, falling asleep next to your wife and you don't wake up? Or, you know, are you 35 years old and, you know, you lost your feet from diabetes? Rabbit. Or, uh, you know, where do you, like, where do you think you're going to die? How, like, under what circumstances and, uh, you know, how do you see it happening? Um, or are you just going to replace all your bits with uh, machinery until you're just a brain in a jar and you're going to live forever? Who the fuck knows? Um, what do you think is going to happen? Uh, so, yeah. Um, I'm working 90 hours this week. Uh, I am going to work from 8 a.m. to 8 a.m., Wednesday into Thursday. And then uh, I have Thursday morning off. I have class Thursday night. I go back to work Friday 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., I may have to stay until midnight, and then I work midnight to 8, Friday into Saturday, but I'm trying to keep that time off the 7p to midnight so I can go to the Forge, because I really want to see you guys. Um, I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I guess that's pretty much all I have to say, so uh, take it easy, guys. And uh, Oh, God, before I forget... Um, I hate Chauncey. Cha like, I don't know, I, I, it's, it's, it, the name just sort of annoys me because it reminds me of a dog that I used to take care of sometimes that would shit on the floor and the dog was really weird to begin with. How about Chaucer? Um, I know it's a dude's name, but it's really classy and uh, I don't know. I just figured I'd throw that one out there because I really can't call your peanut gallery the peanut gallery anymore. It's going to drive me fucking crazy. Um, although I do respect her because she's dating one of my best friends. You obviously you have good taste, so she must be pretty cool. But uh She's got to have a better name than the Peanut Gallery. Uh, all right. Um, take it easy, guys, and alleged female midget. Um, see you all sometime soon.